right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. And welcome back to another Outfit Virtual Workout. Uh, we are about to uh, start a roughly 45 minute workout. This workout, you're going to need either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. So Coach Cole is going to be using a dumbbell. I'm going to be using a kettlebell. Um, if you have the option to use either, the dumbbell may be a little bit easier and the kettlebell may require a little more skill if that impacts your decision. Um, we are going to, again, be hopping into this workout. Before we go though, I just want to point out one thing. You're going to notice that both Coach Cole and myself are not wearing masks and that's only for the purpose of this workout. Anytime that we're working out indoors or we're ever indoors, we're always wearing a mask and you should as well. Keeping everybody safe is a team sport and so we all have to do our part. With that being said, we're gonna hop into this workout. Coach Cole's gonna get us started. All right, Wednesday. Um, we're gonna start with some arm circles today. We'll go forward, both arms at the same time. Let's just start nice and big. We need to count, just get a few in. I want us to slowly make those circles a little bit smaller. You guys can go faster, you can go slow if your arms are basically out in T, our thumbs are up towards the sky. I'm just making some nice little circles with those shoulders. We're going to freeze and we're going to stay small. We're going to go backwards. Get a few in. Make those circles a little bit bigger again. So we're going nice and big for some backwards arm circles. <clears throat> And we're going to get some high kicks, so right arm up front, left leg can kick on up. Try and touch that right hand, opposite arm, opposite leg. We'll go 10 total, five each side. Close that hip joint up, stretch that hamstring out. And we'll walk the hands in. Roll the spine on up nice and slow. Once we get standing, we're going to find 25 jumping jacks. Feet out, arms overhead. Count up to 25. You lost count like me. Five more. Sounds good. And let's bring those feet to where we like to squat. Nice flat heels. We're just going to hit 15 air squats. Right up and down, all the way down to the bottom of wherever your squat is. Try not to lose count on this one. I think that was four. 15. And 
last one. Cool. Um, grab a drink for like 30 seconds. We will talk and talk about what our strength portion is for the day. You need to grab that dumbbell or kettlebell. You can do that. Make sure you have some space. We'll get things rocking on the day. Just a second. So we're going to hop into our strength portion coming up, but we got to talk about it first. So we're going to be doing two different movements. The first movement is going to be a clean, either with the kettlebell or with the dumbbell. Again, for this movement, if you have the option, the dumbbell may be a little bit easier. I'm going to demonstrate with the kettlebell though. So nice big swing. I'm ending up in this front rack position for here. Thumb is on my chest, elbows by my side. We're going to do three cleans. And then once you get done with that third clean, you're going to do a reverse lunge, you're going to stand up, and you're going to step through, and then do a forward lunge. And that's one rep. So I'm going to do a clean, two, three, reverse lunge, big step back, looking for that vertical shin, and then stepping straight through, ideally in one motion, again, looking for that vertical shin. So let's see Coach Cole. Roughly the same thing, demonstrating with the dumbbell. Two, got his three cleans. Big step back. Brooklyn's having a tired day today. Good. One more time. Clean, clean, clean. Big step back. Big step forward. You got to relax. Great. Thank you. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be on a 45 second clock. So you're gonna do 45 seconds on your first side of your cleans and lunges. We'll switch to be 45 seconds on the other side of your queen cleans and lunges. We're gonna have 30 seconds of rest. And then we're gonna start back at the beginning, right side and left side. We're gonna do this for six rounds. Um, six. Six, six. Yeah, right. That's the magic number. <laughs> so we're gonna get the clock ready. It's gonna take us just a second. Make sure that you're ready. This is gonna take 12 minutes, so hopefully it's uninterrupted for you. Yep. And we're gonna be starting in just about 20 seconds here. It's a holiday week here. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Do you have any Thanksgiving traditions? Don't tell me, just tell me yes or no. Uh, no, no. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. So we got three cleans. I'm starting on my right. Coach Cool is starting on his right. Really, you can start wherever. Just stay consistent. And then we're staying on this side for 45 seconds. Clean, clean, clean. Reverse lunge. Big step forward. Forward lunge. Good. So Todd and I both have that dumbbell in our right arm. We're stepping with our right leg, making sure that same leg that has weight on it is the one that's moving. Left foot staying nice and planted. Not going anywhere. Okay, we're switching in just about five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides. Hello, Brooklyn. You're up early. Brooklyn turned one. Happy on birthday. On Monday. Big girl now. Okay, you got about 20 more seconds, and then we're gonna be having 30 seconds of rest. All right, rest in five, three, two, one. All right, you got 30 seconds of rest. So this is gonna be our first round. 45 on one side, 45 on the other side. Once we get going, we got five more rounds to go. By Thanksgiving mission, do you mean like for the size of normal Thanksgiving stuff? Yeah, something that's like specific to you or your family. Not really. I have one, so I'm just asking you. So, okay, you so really can still mine. You have five <laughs> seconds and tell me in our next rest. Three, no. two, one. Let's start with my left arm this time, because why not? 
doesn't really matter. As long as you have that same leg moving that's holding the weight, so that opposite leg's nice and planted. Good, 15 seconds in. So when you're doing your cleans, if you're doing it with the kettlebell, or if you're doing your cleans with the dumbbell, you wanna to try to keep your forearm glued to your stomach as long as possible as you're coming up. That's gonna give you a better power transfer. I'll tell you more in a second. Three, two, one. We're switching sides onto the opposite side now. So, these, this is a closed hip. This is an open hip. So when I go from a closed hip to an open hip, if I keep my arm glued to my body, the power I create by opening my hips is gonna to transfer to my arm if I keep it glued to my body as long as possible. If it's just hovering in front of me the whole time, I still get some benefit, but not nearly the same amount as keeping it glued to my body as long as possible. So something to try to focus on. 10 seconds and you got rest coming up. All right, second round of rest is coming up in three, two, one. Nice round, nice job. You got two rounds in. We got four to go here. I have a solution. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I got 20 seconds. <laughs> I like to binge watch stuff in the street. Interesting. So I just sit at home by myself all day, start from the beginning, and just binge watch every How season. How many years have you been running? Oh, I don't know. 15 years? Oh, wow. It's a long time. We're back at it in three, two, one. Here we go. Oops. <clears throat> so if when you're doing your reverse lunge, forward lunge, it, it's a challenge for you to step straight into it. And what you can do from this backwards position is come up, slightly touch the ground here, and then try to keep going to see if you can condition yourself to be able to do it later on this area. We're switching sides in 10 seconds. Good. Switching in three, two, one. All right, other side. Three cleans, three lunges. It's round three right now, so that makes us right past the halfway point. We're going up on that halfway point, I guess. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Okay, ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. All right. Three rounds in, three to go. 30 seconds of rest halfway. Nice job. Woo. So, not only do I love the whole Dawson Street series, <laughs> but I love when they went to college. Graduated high school, and then they moved off and went to different colleges, which is usually when the show is going to jump the shark. Guys, yeah. 10 seconds. Love it. Love it just the same. All right, we're back at it in five. Three, two, one. This workout is sponsored by Dawson's Creek in the <laughs> CW, essentially. <laughs> As we're doing these lunges, you want to think about taking a big step back. Your goal is for your forward shin to be vertical, your knee over your ankle. Again, vertical shin, knee, over the ankle. Less than 15. Okay, three, two, one. Oops, other side. Not done yet, not done. Yet. A little bit to go still. Nice job. 15 in, 30 to go. All 
All right, 10 seconds, and you gotta rest. And there you go, 30 seconds of rest. Four rounds in, two to go. Very nice. Way past Very nice. And honestly, Thanksgiving's like not my favorite holiday. So, what is your favorite event? Uh, uh, my favorite holiday is day. No, that's not a holiday. It should be. 10 no. seconds. My favorite holiday is definitely Valentine's Day. Yeah, oh. it's not like every popular holiday I know. I just oh. love, like, three. I don't know, I'll explain later. Two. One. Well, that's good because I got a million <laughs> questions. I'm sure everybody <laughs> does. I really just like candy hearts. Well, that's definitely a good reason. <clears throat> For all those holidays, the candy Reese's Pieces. No, Reese's Cups. You Reese's 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 Are you a Reese's Pieces guy? No, I'm neither. But there's something about the Reese's Cups when they make them into hearts or bunnies or Santa Claus. They don't have the um, hard edges. Of normally oh, okay. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, which is the part that I don't like. Three, Three two, two, and switch arms this time. Not putting it down. Don't worry, I am. Okay, very nice. About 20 seconds to go. We're gonna get a little rest. Then we got our last, our last round coming up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, nice. Cool. 30 seconds of rest, and then our last round. Then we'll take a break. We'll get some water. We'll talk about the second part. Let's run real quick. Uh, if you're watching this outfit crew, feel free to at Todd and I on Instagram. I want to know if you think it's Reese's Pieces or Reese's Pieces. That's, that's a big argument I've had. With who? A lot of people. Which side do you take? <laughs> Three, Three, two, oh my gosh, I need more. One. Here we go. Let's Last time through. Up. Last time through. All right. And then we'll, we'll let Cole tell us which side. Well, I'm not telling you which side I'm on. Well, you're not going to tell us. Oh, no. Interesting. Okay. I feel like I know. Obviously, I'm just a piece this because I've said it. And I feel like the only reason you're bringing it up is because you <laughs> no, feel the like opposite. But you could also feel the same way and just get it just, a lot. It's a highly contested presentation. Okay, 10 seconds. Last time on this side. If you haven't been putting that dumbbell down the last five rounds, hang on to it. That's the one. Three, two, one. All right, let's switch. Last 45 seconds of this, of the cleans and the lunges. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Nice work. Woo! All right. Nice job. Six rounds in. Grab some water if you need it. Got about two minutes until we get going on the next part, hopefully. About two minutes here. Pieces 
or Reese's Pieces. I know Pieces isn't the word, but a lot of people like to read Pieces. Huh. Where'd you grow up? New York. Okay. Just curious if it's a regional thing. All right, well, I know which one's right, because I wouldn't say it wrong. <laughs> but if you have an opinion, send one of us a message. Or you can send Brooklyn one, and she'll get it to us. <clears throat> okay, so what's the second part we got coming up? We got an imam coming up every minute on the minute. So our clock is going to beep, and you're on minute one, going to start a complex, and on minute two, you're going to start a movement. So let's talk about minute one. Uh, if you're familiar with CrossFit, this is a, just an at-home version of Cindy, one time through. If you're not, it doesn't matter. We're going to explain it. Five push-ups. 10 air squats, 15 sit-ups. So clock beeps, you have one minute to do five push-ups, 10 air squats, 15 sit-ups. If you don't get all the way through and you only get 13 sit-ups, you just stop whenever we switch. And then next round, you're gonna try to just go a little bit faster. For the push-ups, Coach Cole's gonna demonstrate here. So he's gonna have a nice hollow body position, which means he's gonna keep his core nice and tight. He's gonna lower down until his chest touches the ground, nothing else. His quads aren't, his stomach's not, just his chest touches. He's gonna press up and get a full lockout at the top, a nice straight arm, all the way down, chest touches, lock out. Great, let's show us some uh, ones where we don't touch the ground. So these are no reps. He isn't getting his chest to the ground. Uh, let's just do a couple where we don't lock out, please. These are no reps. He's not fully straightening his arm. That's great, thank you very much. So all the way down, all the way up. If doing five push-ups is, um, Something that you cannot do based on current strength or for some other thing, then you can find something in your house, probably wherever you are, a coffee table, a couch, or something. And you can just do some assisted ones, which means you're going to elevate yourself. Say this is my coffee table, elevate myself, chest touches, pull a lockout, chest touches, pull a lockout. Ideally, you're not just going to go to your knees and do them from there, mainly because once you do that, stop engaging your core and your midsection like you are when you're doing them either to the floor or assisted. Okay, air squats. We got feet shoulder width. His toes are going to be slightly turned out. He's going to go down hopefully below parallel. He turns 90 degrees here. A little hop so we can see his side. Oh. So below parallel just means that the crease of his hip is going to be down below his knee. But you're going to notice in that position, his back is still neutral, still nice and flat. So all the way down, all the way up, those are going to be our air squats. And then last, what's that? 10. 10, 10. yeah. I think I did like 20. Uh, well, that was just the demo, that doesn't, doesn't count. And then we got our, our sit-up. So cool butterfly in his feet. It just means he's going to put the bottom of his feet together. He's going to lay all the way back, touch the, touch the ground overhead. He's going to sit up all the way, and then either like touch his feet or maybe right in front. Ideally, what you want to be doing is getting your shoulders in front of your hips instead of always having them back behind which is there. So you just want to get your, your shoulders a little bit higher. Okay, five push-ups, 10 air squats, 15 sit-ups. We're going to do that for the first minute. Clock beeps. We got 20 ski jumps that we're going to do. That's 20 total where you're going to be jumping from side to side. He's going to jump. His back foot is going to come behind him and he's going to reach down and try and touch his feet. So this is three, four, Five, and then relax, that's great, make it cool. So you're gonna do 20 of those. Minute one is gonna take you roughly the full minute. Minute two, if you're cruising, should take you just about 30 seconds, which means every two minutes, you'll work for about 90 seconds and then have 30 seconds of rest. We're gonna do this for 20 minutes. So it's uh, 10 rounds of each one. We're gonna get the clock set up and ready. And then once that's ready, we're gonna start with our five push-ups, 10 air squats, and then 15 sit-ups. Check on Brooklyn real quick, she can dig in at something. 12 seconds and we're grooving through 20 minutes of an EMOM. I love an EMOM. 5, 10, 15. Push-ups, air squats, sit-ups. 3, 2, 1, and we're in. Ten air squats. And 15 sit ups. Whew. 
You got about 20 seconds. Good. I was cruising there, Coach Cool was as well. That took us about 45 seconds around, but that's pretty fast. So if you're getting close to it at the end of the minute, that's fine. We're switching in three, three. two, one. Here we go. Side to side. side. 20 total. 10 each. Oh boy, I lost count. Seven. I'm gonna stay with your team. Eight, nine. seconds to go and then we're back at it. So that was two minutes of work. We're going to do that. Some more time. Not help for some more times. <laughs> we're going to do that some number of times greater than one less than 50. Less than 50. We're back at it. In three, <laughs> two, one, here we go. You got your five push-ups. Into the air squats, into the sit-ups. For your push-ups, make sure your hands are directly below your shoulders. So you don't want to be doing these wide ones, but you want your strongest pushing position, which is when your wrists are directly below your shoulders. Second thing is, is when you're doing that pushing motion, try to keep your elbows tucked to your side. You're not going to keep them all the way in. Probably going to be more at a 30 or 45 degree angle. But what you want to avoid is having more of a 90 degree angle when you're doing your push-ups. So think about turning your hands, turning your hands, turning your hands. So they're either pointing forward or a little bit out when you start those reps. All right, we're moving on to the ski jumps in five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go, 20 ski jumps total. Last you get these done, the more rest you have for that next city round. So I'm definitely gonna stop moving on these. Think about that hand position we just talked about. 10 air squats. When you're doing these air squats, think about keeping your core tight. Tight, tight, tight. Squeezing those abs all the way down and all the way up. If you keep your core nice and tight, it's going to prevent rounding of the back that you're going to see here. So if I stay nice and tight through the middle, I won't go as low, probably, but I'll keep that nice neutral back, which is what we're looking for. And I lost count there. 20 seconds. <clears throat> 10 seconds through. If you get kind of cut off here at the end of this minute on your sit-ups, that's cool. Hop up, give us those 20 hops. Get that 30 seconds of rest. Go right on into our skier hops. Right. Now we're in it. Right, Brooklyn. 
Back at it in just about 20 seconds. Come on, baby. You wanna work out? 10 seconds. All right, push up to three, two, one. Here we go. Goal for these sit-ups should be sit-ups. Sit-ups should be try and not stop moving for that whole 15. Not necessarily going as fast as I can. I've got one speed for sit-ups. That's the speed that I'm using. Okay, 10 seconds. Heading into the ski jumps. back in in just about 30 seconds. We talked about scaling push-ups down. You may be really good at push-ups, and so five isn't super challenging for you. Some options you can do, a really nice one that gets pretty challenging pretty fast, are just some clapping push-ups. So you get down to the bottom, clap, and then go into that next rep. 10 seconds, we're back at it. Give it a try if you think the push-ups are not the hardest part. Let's see if it makes a difference. Three, two, one. Here we go. Coach Cool was saying, these sit-ups can add up really fast. So your goal should be try to keep moving. Maybe it's not the same speed as ours, but try to see if you can still keep it consistent. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Most of us are off tomorrow, 
So let's push it. Let's push it today. Enjoy that rest tomorrow even more. 15 seconds. All right. We got ski jumps in about five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we talked one way about scaling up push-ups, doing some clapping push-ups. Another option, if you're not really feeling like it's the most challenging part, what you can do is move your hands from shoulder width, bring them in, make a diamond with your hand, and then make that the pressing position from the ground. So another option to play with, 10 seconds back up wherever you are with your push-ups. All right. Back out in three, two, one, here we go. We are cruising through round seven. There we are. On the home stretch, it's coming. Trying to get there and make it happen though. Keep sitting on up. Keep breathing. All right, 10 seconds back at it with the ski jumps. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Keep that half motion going. It's only 20. You want at least 30 seconds of rest. Stay in it for those 20. Take some rest after. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Through. Seven down. Only three to go. It's a pretty good number. It's totally manageable. These rounds are flying by. Making it happen. Five seconds. Three, two. 5, 10, 15, here we go. <laughs> These are all body weight movements, but that doesn't mean they're easy movements. I got a buddy of mine who can clean 285. If you tell him to do air squats for two minutes, it falls apart. So, still a challenging movement, even though it's all body weight. Particularly if you challenge yourself to not take small breaks, but just keep moving. 10 seconds. Three, two, and side to side. Two more. Two more rounds. Think about how fast each round flies by. 
two's only gonna happen. We stoked that we did it, we're done. Almost there. Almost there. You feel that thing sink in there. There you go. Ten seconds. Back in time. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. We have this one more round. This is all you got today with us. 30 seconds. Keep moving through these sit-ups. Try and breathe and a little bit of rest while we're moving here. Steady on the floor. 10 seconds. Good job. Back at it. Three, two, one. Here we go. 20 mountain climb. 20 ski jumps. Put in some pretty sweet work so far today. Less than three minutes left. Three minutes is nothing. We're going to get it done. We're going to finish at our best. What's your best is for today? Let's hang on to that. Finish these 20. One last round. Thirty seconds. No, no. Sit. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Last round. I hope you're feeling as hot and sweaty as I am right now. Coach Cole's a warrior. <laughs> I love seeing these stuff. So he doesn't sweat. I'm jealous. Ten seconds. Last time through. Last one. Best one. Yep. All right, we're back at it. Three. Two, one, here we go, last time through. Last 90 seconds to two minutes. Here we go, it's your last round. And that 15, a more or less. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. All right. Ski jumps. Ten seconds. It's your last minute total. Probably closer to thirty seconds of work. We're literally jumping in. Three, two. One, here we go. Just 20 here, too. Last 20 of the day. Find it for yourself. Not me, maybe for me, but for yourself. Get it done. Press it. Hang on, right through that last 19 20. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, just over 30 seconds. Find your time to finish that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get that last. Oh boy. Way to move today. Ooh. Here we go. You got just over 20 seconds. Just over 20. Last 15. If you're still working, you gotta finish up in just about 10 seconds. Find that in here. All right, we got five, three, Two, one. Yeah. Woo! Yes! 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 yes. <laughs> nice. Good job, girls. Good job, everyone, actually. Good job. All right. That's a nice way to start going into our holiday week. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And I'm sure Coach Cole did as well. Uh, we'll be back on Friday at 8 a.m. and noon. So hopefully we'll see you there. Hope you have a really nice holiday. Until then, take care. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care. Brooklyn says bye too. 
I was a little antsy today. She was. I'm actually afraid she has to go to the bathroom. You probably got it. <laughs> huh? Huh, girl? I'm going to take you out right now. You're a good girl. Good girl.